Good morning, fragrance community. Welcome back. This morning's fragrance review is Helmet Lang's Carol. It was originally released in 2002 and recently re-released in 2014. It's classified as a leather and the nose behind it is Francois Caron. There's a, a lot of love for this in the fragrance community and I, for whatever reason I don't see much posted on YouTube so I figured I'd I'd give my opinion on it. When I first spray it on, I get a very generic smelling, scratchy, bright citrus. And it smells like a combination of lemon and orange. This only lasts maybe 30 seconds. After that time, I begin to, to pick up on a, a musky, almost musty note. Smells like damp basement. You could even call it damp earth, and I could probably attribute that to the musk mallow in it. With that dampness, there there's also a a, a tea like consistency to it, and from what I've smelled of olibanum in its its unsmoked form. This this is pretty much right on point. It has a very tea-like consistency. Beyond that, there it it is. It is glossed over. It's it's somewhat smooth, but to classify this as a leather, I just can't get behind that. Um, it it's really a light scent. It doesn't really remind me of anything leathery doesn't smell like a leather couch or a car or birch tar or castorium, nothing to that sort. It's a very much a, a chemical vat to me. It's, it smells like a combination of Diorum Intense's musk mallow note and Loewe's solo platinum olibanum tea-like note. So it, it takes some unsavory parts of, of fragrances that I've smelled and kind of throws them into one and to me it smells like a chemical vat it it's like it's like taking medical waste like medications and and penicillin and and all that and throwing it into a a pot and then taking some generic cleaning solutions and, and throwing that in the pot as well. I, I really can't see why this gets good marks and, and love. And maybe back in 2002 it, it was on the different side. It was it was avant-garde, but I think today there there's so many other well-done leathers be, that have been released between 2002 and and this year, 2015 that you really can't justify the the niche pricing on this one. I personally wouldn't pay more than 30 to $40 for this, and there's really no way that you could get this for that price. I feel like the quality is not there. And I, I know there's a lot of people that, that love this scent, and, and I'm really happy that you do, but, but for my taste, it's just not a really well-made scent. It's just really unrefined and... I don't think it's pleasing at all. I had my girlfriend smell it and and she did the nose crunch and she was just like get get that away from me. It just smells disgusting and it, it really does have that that musty musky damp basement kind of thing going on and it, it's it's definitely not leathery to my nose. So I really I really can't recommend it. The performance is not very good. After about ten minutes, I have to really stick my nose on my my spray spot to, to smell it. it it doesn't really project very far and the longevity is just merely average and, and for an EDP to get only six to eight hours out of it it's, it's rather disappointing so overall I, I find this to be a very disappointing scent unfortunately but that's just the way it is if you've tried this one and you enjoy it let me know what you think 
This is again is the re-release. This is not the original 2002 release. This is the 2014 release. I can't compare the two. I've never smelled the original. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.